Rothman and Wensi had the same amount of money. So I'm going to draw a model for Rothman and Wensi having equal portions here. Okay, after Rahman bought a shirt for 135, which I'm going to indicate over here, 135 up to here. And Wensi bought a pair of roller skates for 195. Notice that it's more, so I'm going to chop it onto here, which is 195. And then now, they say that Rothman had three times as much money as Wensi. So, Rothman, this portion is equal to three units. And as for Wensi, it is one unit. So, comparison model works like this. I'm going to draw a line down here, this portion. And you're going to see this portion is equal to one unit as compared with one C's portion. So if this is equal to one unit, out of the three units, this part will be equal to two units. Okay, now we direct our attention to this part of the model. Are we able to find two units? Yes, because this total portion is 195. I subtract it with 135. I will be able to find this portion, which is 2 units. So 2 units is equal to 195 minus 135, which gives us $60. And the moment I found 2 units, I can go ahead to find 1 unit, which is 60 divided by 2. I get $30. Now the last step. How much money did Rothman have at first? Well, Rothman and Wensi had the same portion. So I can use Wensi's portion, which is one unit here, and do an addition of 195. I will be able to find out the money that they have at first. So 195 plus $30 gives us 225. 225, and that's it. Siva and Vanessa had the same amount of money. Same kind of question. So Siva, Vanessa, same portion. And you're going to notice that one person is going to spend more. In this case, it's Siva. So Siva, this portion will be $210. As for Vanessa, this portion, 118 all right, and eventually they said that Vanessa had three times, so I'm going to give it three units, and Siva would be one unit. And same thing, we're going to compare by drawing a line down this way. This is equals to one unit, same goes to the bottom, so I can infer that this portion is two units. So doing the same, I'm going to find this portion which is also equals to 2 unit by subtracting 118 from 210. I get an answer of 92. So I know that 2 units is equals to 92. 1 unit is equals to 46. The moment I found that, I can find out the money that Vanessa have because I can also find out SIVA which is easier because it's 1 unit plus 210. So, 210 plus $46 equals to 256. And that's the final answer. So, learn how to draw the model and most importantly, find the difference and link it to the units. Eventually, find out one unit and you can solve the question. This method is called unitary method. Bala and Ahmad had the same amount of money. So B, A, same amount. After Bala spent $213, and then Ahmad spent more, which is 417 So I'm going to chop off a bit more for Ahmad, which is $417 here, and 213 for Bala. Now they say Bala have four units. So this portion is equal to four units. And Ahmad would have one unit. So same thing, let's compare by cutting a line down. This is equal to 
this is equals to one unit and same goes to the bottom which I can infer that this portion is equals to three units and to find that amount is the same as taking 417 subtract 213 which I will get $204 that is equals to three units so I can go ahead to find out one unit by dividing 204 and I'll find $68 for one unit. Once I'm done, I can straight away find out the amount of money that Bala have. Well, I can find out Ahmad is easier because it's one unit plus 417. So 68 plus 417 gives us 485. And that's my final answer. Okay, the last question that we have with the same concept, N and Bing, they had the same amount of money. Now you should try drawing the model on your own and then play the video and compare with mine and see if you got the model drawing correct. So they had the same amount of money and N spent more than Bing. So I'm going to cut off here for N which is 328 and Bing is here which is one, two, four. After that, I'm going to indicate Bing had five units, which means N would have one unit. So same thing, I'm going to do a comparison by drawing a line down. This equals to one unit, and I can infer that this portion is equals to four units. And how can I find out the four units? I find out this portion. So 4 units is equal to the difference of 328 and 124, which I'll get $204. I can go ahead to find 1 unit, which is 204 divided by 4, gives me $51. And I can go ahead to answer the question by finding out how much money that Bing has. Well, I can use N's portion, which is 1 unit plus 328. So 1 unit. 51 plus 328 gives us $379. And that's it, the final answer.